Good morning. It's John Wilson from Coal Banker Traditions. I thought I would take the time to do an expanded market update um, in the same format I've done before. Um, just a little different considering the times we're in right now. First and foremost, I hope this finds you, your family, your people in your companies, and those around you safe during this time and with hopes that uh, we will be through this and on our way to normal times before we know it. Uh, real quickly, some of you may be wondering what's the real estate market doing? What has it been doing? So I kind of wanted to put it in perspective that you know the first quarter of 2020 performed very, very well. And um, we were very fortunate here at Coal Banker Traditions. We were actually up 62% uh, this first quarter over last year's first quarter. So our people are out there working. The market is good. Overall, uh, the Williamsburg market is uh, first quarter this year over last year is up 26% um, in sales volume. Number of units are up 20% sold. Um, so it means we got some appreciation. Looks like the uh, average sale price was up about 3%. Um, and days on market is right about the same. And those are the key indexes that we look at to kind of, you know, judge the market and where it's at. So we've gone into these times with a very vibrant market in the Williamsburg area. Uh, Peninsula area is doing very well. Uh, number of days on market is down about 18%. Uh, sales volume is up about 7%. And number of units sold is even. Of course, their average uh, price is up about 8% um, in the uh, their market as well. Uh, some of these numbers are going to reflect um, a lack of inventory. We've kind of gone into this market with a little less inventory than we would normally like to see, especially coming into the spring market. Of course, then New Kent, uh, even the surrounding areas to us, New Kent is up about 3% in sales volume. Um, for the first quarter, meaning January 1 through March 31st. So we come into this time with a, a very solid, good market. Um, right now, then for those people that, you know, life is requiring them to continue to um, engage the real estate market, whether buying or selling property, um, what, what do I do now? May be the question. Um, one, for those that are selling property, most realtors uh, are out in the marketplace working safely, if not virtually. We just happen to have an incredibly oh, virtual office platform here at this company. So all of our people went, to, went home the next day working from their homes, whether it was our accounting department or administration, and certainly our real estate agents, between transaction platform, between communication platforms like Zoom, uh, Skype, um, Team, and those kind of platforms. And then they have a marketing platform that they there's really nothing they can't do from home or from their car almost that they can do from the office for you, whether um, to provide you a listing presentation, whether to uh, do all their marketing that they need to do on our uh, 582 websites that we download to, or whether it's to transact a, a, a transaction and negotiate it. Uh, showings uh, become a little bit more challenging in that we certainly can do virtual showings, virtual open houses, um, as well as uh, work safely in a mode of doing maybe personal one-on-one -on -one showings that uh, our, our sellers are able to accommodate us. So for those that are needing to do real estate, the, it, it may, maybe is a little cha more challenging than normal, but our people are working and they're working safely and they're working virtually. Uh, for those that are thinking, do I list my home right now? 
you know, that's certainly a personal decision that you have to make. However, you know, we have the ability to list your home. We have the ability to show it virtually. We have the ability to um, try and do one-on-one personal showings that require, you know, all those safe measures of spatial distance, of uh, keeping clean hygiene, to wiping down surfaces before and after. Um, So again, it just depends on you know, the needs of the buyer and the seller and what we can do to all make sure we work safely. But for those thinking, do I list my house now? I would encourage you to do so uh, because we can see by the traffic reports on the internet that buyers are at home shopping on the internet. They're doing their shopping now. They're looking at homes now. They're looking to go through and see what what is on the market now so that when we're past this point in time, they may have already done their shopping. So uh, for those that can list their homes, uh, again, our people at Coal Banker Traditions are very uh, available. Um, they are, um, they've been trained on how to work safely. They've been trained for years on how to work virtually. So if you're thinking, you know, do I list my home now, Uh, even if you go into it with being able to do limited showings, I would um, um, certainly encourage uh, that. Um, With buyers, uh, you know, contacting agents, having them uh, show you what's on the Internet that you can also, of course, do your shopping. But to uh, narrow down the field of what will work for you and what not. Our people know the community. They know the area. Um, They can be very helpful now in going through that initial process of buying, if not being able to complete a transaction through our virtual platform um, and uh, help you to continue working. Our vendors, um, most are working. We have... uh, adapted forms to assure that they will work safely. Uh, We also know that the mortgage companies are, most of their platforms are available. Uh, There are some spot platforms that, you know, uh, with depending on your needs for mortgages, some mortgages are not available, but most are. Um, uh, Title companies are doing virtual closings. Uh, meeting very safely in safe environments to be able to process paperwork for you. So the industry is working. The governor, of course, in Virginia has, uh, you know, uh, made that looking at essential services has said that uh, real estate is an essential service. People do require housing. They uh, have to move forward as life continues to move forward. So we're, we're able to work, and uh, we find that most people in our industry are working in a, just a different way than they've worked before. So the, the update is that the, the market was vibrant, was growing um, as we went into this time. We believe that we can service many people's needs safely and virtually, so we can list and sell homes. And um, then what we're expecting is uh, that the market will go back to normal as soon as times have normalized and that, uh, you know, for sellers, there's probably going to be a little pent up demand from buyers um, having to move forward. And uh, for buyers, uh, hopefully there'll be listings coming online. So we see the bounce back in our industry uh locally here in Hampton Roads uh Peninsula Williamsburg and the New Kent market um that it will come back just as strong as it was before and uh continue to service those needs of both buyers and sellers so um that's kind of the perspective of where the real estate industry is at this point in time uh, during regular times and during this extreme time that we're in. I'm hoping this information is helpful for you in making your decisions in real estate. And if there's anything we can do for you, uh, we're very available here at Coal Banker Traditions. And again, wish you and your family 
all the best and your uh, uh, with your health and your well-being. And um, um, reach out if we can help. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.